Hey, welcome to another exciting episode of Mikey's Video Game Madness. I haven't posted a video since yesterday of Far Cry 5, but I streamed it off of the PlayStation 4 and it looked absolutely atrocious. And I was kind of in a bad mood, which I've kind of been a lot lately, which is why I haven't posted often. So I figured I'd take the time and do an official video. Now, since I'm doing this and I'm never on topic, you want to know if Far Cry, in my opinion, Far Cry 5, in my opinion, is good. I'll just answer and say yes, it's a, a great game. I like it a lot. So now that that's over with, let me talk about what's going on. Sorry, I'm tired, but if I waited till I wasn't tired, I'd never get a video done. Matter of fact, I haven't been getting video done because of it. So, um, yeah, I've had a history with Far Cry. Uh, I originally played Far Cry on the PC. I remember, I think it was PC Magazine, the one that came with a demo, seeing that guy, like, getting, um, I just perked up so I can go fishing. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm kind of stoked. So if you were watching the video just to see me go fishing, I hate to disappoint you, but it is an option. I don't know why I've always kind of liked fishing games. It seems like every Japanese game that comes out, this isn't a Japanese game, of course, but it seems like every Japanese RPG that comes out now has a fishing option. I guess fishing is a lot, a lot more popular there. There's some English for you. So right now this is a fort that I just liberated or a camp or whatever it would it's like on far on any other far cry that you play maybe not the first one necessarily there's my character by the way rocking the flannel um so i liberated that area if you look on the map you'll see that every part that you haven't liberated yet is blue so i have quite a bit to do um I really like how you actually can rotate the map a little bit so you actually can see the individual trees. It's not a 2D image. It's actually all rendered. That looks really nice. Beside Primal, which I feel like was a reskin version of Far Cry 4, um, this looks really nice. They weren't restrained by um, having the program for the Xbox 360 and the original PlayStation 3. Now, I, like I was talking, I had a history with Far Cry, and that history was just gawking at an open-world first-person shooter. The only experience I had with open worlds, really, is probably the Mercenaries, the first game, and, of course, Grand Theft Auto and the Getaway. So, to play the kind of game that I really enjoy, a first-person shooter, that was a big deal. Unfortunately, it was a technical powerhouse, at least for the time, at least for my budget. I was working at a grocery store. I don't even think I was working then, but I eventually worked at a grocery store and saved up and got a PC and got Far Cry, and I absolutely loved it. I never played anything like it. It was actually developed by Crytek. Ironically, since the first Crytek, since the first far cry i think it's been using the same engine it's just been updated which is mind-blowing but i'm sure they've done a lot of work this game is absolutely gorgeous i'm not playing on a special tv or the playstation 4 pro because my capture card can't handle that i did in the living room and it looked absolutely fantastic but as you can see now at least in my humble opinion I think it looks really good. Um, right now, we're having cultists shooting at us. There's usually something going on at all time. If I would have any criticism for this game, it's the fact that you never can get where you're going without getting into a firefight. That was sort of a problem in Far Cry 4, but it almost seems more so in this game, which can be frustrating but at the same time it's leveling you up and giving you perks so it's a double-edged sword it's not a deal breaker but this takes place in montana in the wilderness um even though this doesn't 
support HDR in this particular mode. That sun almost looks like it does. This game looks so good. Um, you don't really have like a super detailed map, although obviously I showed you before you do have one, but you kind of just find stuff and somebody might tell you about something and all of a sudden it'll appear on your map. As you see, it's like nonstop. That's a vacationer. I don't know why they would vacation out to Montana if all the shit's going on. Clearly, it would be being covered in the media. But anyway, for the history, Far Cry came out. I absolutely loved it. And then Far Cry 2 came out. And I didn't like that one at all. That one took place in Africa. Even though it took place in Africa, there was barely any animals. Like, this has a ton of animals in it. And if you went to Montana, I don't think you would see this many animals unless you visited a zoo. They definitely improved the driving mechanics. You don't have to push forward to go. I know you could switch the option, but um, that prevented you from shooting. But then shooting becomes more difficult unless you're playing co-op. You actually would have to switch seats to actually shoot. The driving actually reminds me a lot of Dead Island. This game reminds me a lot of Dead Island in general, except with cultists. But yeah, it's a beautiful game. Um, since I select the icon on my map, you can see that there's little arrows pointing me where I go. Uh, those are prisoner vans. There's actually prisoners inside of them, and you can unlock them. But I don't bother because after a while I get fed up and I just want to go get going where I need to go. So you notice I'm an excellent driver. So I only have like a couple of weapons. Um, I have this little machine gun. I don't know what you would call it. You could probably go in the options section. I'm not a huge gun person so I don't know the differences between... And that was an M16 assault rifle and a Nerf gun, so that's an issue. The problem with all these encounters, and I guess they're trying to create that survival vibe, is that you have a finite amount of ammunition, so it makes it more difficult. So I didn't like Far Cry 2 as much um, because because of the same issue, really. Like you would clear an outpost, and then later on you would drive past it and it would be loaded back up with enemies plus you had malaria so you had to worry about being sick and the time of day of what where you had to go was super crucial and i don't know a lot of people like that game i didn't far cry 3 came out which basically has the established formula and i absolutely love that and finished it and then far cry 4 um I thought it felt like Far Cry 3. If I wanted to play Far Cry 4, I could just put in Far Cry 3. It's a nicer looking version. It had more mountains. I mean, this has grappling in it too, but it doesn't seem to have much of it. And keep in mind, I'm early in the game, so don't be like, uh-uh. Like, because I, I don't know. I'm in the beginning of the game. I got a pistol and a machine gun. See, you're getting in all these encounters with, like, flamethrower guys and people with armor. And uh, there's also like cult leaders that have a lot more health. So I'm doing this with like limited ammunition and the map is pretty expansive. So you're going to have to deal with the, the cultists a lot. Like ex looting and stuff like that on the dead bodies is, is necessary. Unfortunately, I probably won't get any ammunition from this flamethrower person over there. But it is kind of cool that they still keep that fire spreading aspect that Far Cry has. After Far Cry 4 came out, which I never finished. It's not a bad game, and I love the addition of the gyrocopter. But I just, I don't know. I just didn't finish it. I keep on going back to it and then quitting it. Like, Far Cry 3, I remember playing it and not being able to stop. I kind of have vibes of this, and I'm kind of stoked since I got the Gold Edition. There's some Vietnam game that's going to come out with it. Um, Far, Far Cry 3, I'm hoping it'll be on something equivalent to whatever the PC... I know it won't 
do top of the line PC because I, I to to my understanding that that was a pretty graphically intense game that's like still at least when I see screenshots of the PC version it almost looks close to this so I don't know if they'll get 60 frames per second but I'm hoping that I'll get something better than the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 version and there's some I think there's a futuristic version and then a zombies version every game has to have zombies now but that's fine um I just bit the bullet I never really got a special edition before for a popular game you know at the time when I pre-ordered it I didn't know how the hell I was going to pull it off but I, I was able to and it comes in a beautiful steel case from my understanding the steel case is apparently doesn't come in the gold edition anymore which is ridiculous so if you see one and you have the budget and you really want to play this game I would definitely get the steel case version it's one of the nicest looking steel cases that I've ever seen and has like a stained glass design and it looks fantastic the only gripe about steel cases is they peel unless the paint chips off of them and they scratch unless you like keep it in a glass case so there's Far Cry Arcade that's a mode I haven't even tried yet this is like our early impressions video if you couldn't tell by the way these open world games are really hard for me to narrate because it's chaotic and different things are going on all the time and it's it's not predictable like I personally I know it's a popular thing to watch but I can't sit there and watch people play Skyrim or Fallout for hours at a time it's just not my thing so I kept it to 20 minutes um, it looks like I'm fucking around but I'm actually trying to get to a destination and that's by no means a complaint because I'm having a good time doing it and I'm actually leveling up and stuff like that I kind of feel like a badass when I'm shooting someone's far away with a rifle that's not supposed to be shot that far away at least to my limited understanding of how guns work there is a little bullet drop in this game which is interesting for the type of game that it is i i'm thinking back as i look at that gas canister that i should have blew it up or at least tried there's hostages you can save and they just keep on giving you points and you get more perks and you level your character up and I guess eventually that's when you'll be invincible like some protagonist from some Call of Duty game so yeah it's just fun to figure it out I haven't made it to town whenever I saw the trailers it was always like in a small town or whatever I just been out in the wilderness the whole time um the roads are pretty crucial this is kind of cool where you actually go, can go on the back of the truck and create a ramp was that a feature in Grand Theft Auto or were the ramps always up? I don't even remember. I'd say tell me in the comments section, but I'm not even sure anybody's going to watch this video. I looked at the last video and it said it had two views. So and I know everybody's playing, making Far Cry videos, so I, I don't think anybody will watch this. I'm just making this so I feel better that I made a video. Um, because I have no idea where the next one's coming like if I die at least I made a video that wasn't a choppy PlayStation video you know if I'm a ghost or whatever I can look back and at least be part of that achievement sometimes I wonder it's like if I if I die would anybody want to take over my channel I don't take that the wrong way <laughs> I just think about stuff like that it's like who who would I pass my channel on to and I was like, and if they get more views, that would like make me feel really, really shitty. When you talk to people, a lot of times you get more missions. A lot of times you fuck up and the people are dead. And hopefully they have something useful. And sometimes when you save people, you actually can hire them. And they're actually useful. They're not like just bullet sponges. They actually help you out. Early in the game, I um, hired this one guy, and he helped me basically clear out, like, the whole area. Um, I don't think that that uh, mountain lion or cougar is supposed to be in there. I remember I went to the floor to edit, 
Everglades. I don't know if they're extinct now, but I was like, how many are there? And they were like five or nine. I was like, how big are they? And there was like this giant statue I thought that was exaggerated. And they were like that big. I was like, holy shit. I hope I don't run into one of those. So if the ones in here are, are any any example of how aggressive they are, I, I would be fucked. I feel really bad stealing from these people, although it's not holding me back. Um, I haven't been in a plane yet, but I'm super stoked about that. And I'm, I'm really taking my time. This is kind of giving me the same kind of fun factor of when I play Ghost Recon Wildlands, where I just kind of took my time and did whatever. I actually downloaded the DLC. They had this amazing sale. This is one of the reasons why I just got the Gold Edition, too, because I really want to play, like, the extra modes. And it's very, very rare and far between that there's a game that has DLC and every single thing in that DLC appeals to me. And that's exactly what this DLC was. And I, there's like a few multiplayer related things I didn't care about at Ghost Recon. But the DLC never went down in price. So I'm like, I'm going to end up paying a lot of money anyway for the modes I want to. Luckily, Ghost Recon did go down in price. But it took like over a year where it went to, to like more than the game to to fifteen dollars which was a blessing and i need to take advantage of it that's another chill game but i've been fully engrossed in this so yeah um driving in first person it looks cool but i really wish there was an option for it to go behind the car view like on grand theft auto when you play first person mode that was sorry it was trying not to burp in the phone that was like my favorite way to play is to play Grand Theft Auto 5 in first person and then go into a vehicle and then it would switch to third person. It's just easier. It's not more realistic, but this isn't Grand Theft Auto. This is its own thing. It's kind of gritty. And in some ways, I don't know how to explain it. It feels sci-fi. Um... I think pe the people that are causing controversy actually need to play the game instead of just talking about it. But I feel that way about everything except murder. I'm, I'm like, yeah, you could say murder is bad. Don't don't try it, you know, before you, you start saying anything. But there's always something going on. Like I I haven't even driven a mile, and I'm just shooting these people like. My concern is how fun is this going to be in the long term. Right now I'm having a blast. And I think this is a great game. And overall there's been enough new stuff happening. Where it's made like getting out of your car. And shooting these people and leveling up fun. Um, I kind of have this weird thing where like. I love RPGs. Or some people get mad. JRPGs. Because they're open-ended and you have to level up and stuff like that. But it's not the same thing. These games are like more complex where there's like a billion things to do and they're more complicated. Whereas in an RPG, oh, there's a little area I can go to. Oh, I just need to grind to get this, get to this boss. And this, this is kind of a million things at the same time, but... This game seems more structured, but structured in a way where it like keeps you from wandering off so far. But it is kind of frustrating if you get really far on the map and you die and then you go to the closest point that you liberated. I really feel like this game could use a quick save or maybe they could patch it so you don't get into enough encounters. But then... You wouldn't level up as fast. I think they know what they're doing. So I I really like it. It looks like some creatures like in there. But there's actually a guy. If you either like the old Far Cries. If you either use your binoculars. Or, or aim with your sights. You can see the guys from far away. Um, he didn't stand a chance. I don't mind it when the guys are like that. Sometimes it gets a little bit times 
tell I'm from Virginia. Um, sometimes it gets a little frustrating when you go across like those tanks or whatever, those guys that you shoot 10 billion times. But yeah, I have this weird thing about more Western RPGs and leveling up. Like, But it's with weird ones. Like this one... I just feel like you have too many encounters. That's annoying in JRPGs too. Um, But right now I said it's still fun. But it's games like Horizon Zero Dawn where I feel like it's padded. Where I feel like the just walking from point A to point B and doing different missions here and there is enough of a game. They don't have to add 10 million things like they're going down a checklist Oh, we have to add this. Oh, we have to add this. Oh, we have to add this. Right now, this game feels really natural. You just get stopped a lot. But there's always something different happening, so it keeps it fresh. And there's like a building there, and you probably can go into it. Little cave there. There's. I found a plane. There's this, these sales merchants sometimes, but I feel like they disappear. Like, I'll turn around, and they're no longer there. Um... Here's an example of the bullet drop. I accidentally grabbed a sniper rifle that I didn't really want. I just wanted my machine gun, but I I definitely could have used it at this point. And this gives you an idea. It's not as like sensitive as, say, the Battlefield games, but it's definitely there. And it's definitely something that you have to compensate for, which is great. It adds some more strategy although i'm terrible with hunting with um semi-automatic or slow reloading weapons especially since that bear is going to run away you see a hostage over there luckily i'll be able to get to them in time to save them it would suck to be in a confrontation with with that thing up close um if you're with one of those tanks but I guess you could run away, but if they had like a mini gun or whatever, you'd be screwed. The pistol's actually useful in this game. I miss my Robocop gun from um, Far Cry 4. So um, I'm going to end the video there. I think this is a great game if you like shooters and open world games. You have to like both. If you just like shooters, you're probably not going to like this that much, but... This is a great Far Cry game, probably one of my favorite. Um, probably my second favorite, but maybe after the nostalgia wears off and I play Far Cry 3 again, this might be my favorite. But so far, I'm really enjoying it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't mind blowing or anything, I don't have any fireworks. But thank you so much, and I hope you're all doing well, and sorry it took so long to make a video. I guess I'll talk to you in three more months, even though it didn't take that long to make a video. But you know what I mean. Take care. I hope you're all well. Bye. If you want to, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.